the funeral mass for South African anti-apartheid campaigner Archbishop Desmond Tutu took place at the Anglican Cathedral in Cape Town earlier today. Tutu, a Nobel Peace Prize winner who helped end the racist regime in South Africa, died last Sunday, aged 90. In his eulogy, President Cyril Ramaphosa described Tutu as the spiritual father of their new nation. Family, friends and dignitaries gathered for Archbishop Desmond Tutu's official state funeral on New Year's Day in Cape Town, capping a week of events honoring a man long considered to be the moral compass of South Africa. Tutu died last Sunday at the age of 90, sparking a global outpouring of tributes to the anti-apartheid hero. He had been in poor health for several years. Have mercy on you, pardon your sins and set you free from them. Confirm and strengthen you in all goodness and keep you in eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. I thank you. South African President Cyril Ramaphosa, who delivered the main eulogy during the service at St. George's Cathedral on Saturday, hailed Tutu as the country's national conscience. Archbishop Desmond Tutu was without question a crusader in the struggle for freedom for justice, for equality, and for peace. Not only in South Africa, the country of his birth, but around the world as well. Such was the overarching impact and influence that Emeritus Archbishop Desmond Tutu had that tributes have been received as we had from current past presidents, religious leaders, monarchs, lawmakers, political parties, musicians, artists, and ordinary people from all corners of the world. Tutu had insisted there should be no lavish spending on the funeral and wanted the cheapest available coffin. Tutu was one of the driving forces behind the movement to end the policy of racial segregation and discrimination enforced by the white minority government against the black majority in South Africa from 1948 until 1991. After Nelson Mandela became South Africa's first black president in 1994, Tutu was appointed by him to a Truth and Reconciliation Commission set up to investigate crimes committed by both whites and blacks during the apartheid era. Tutu was awarded the Nobel Prize in 1984 for his role in the struggle to abolish the apartheid system.